Hey folks, Dr. Joe here. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Glad you could be here. I'm going to talk today about allergies because it's so often people come into my office and they'll say, well, I, I'm ha I have allergies. And I'll say, okay, how do you know it's an allergy? Well, my nose is running. How do you know it's not a cold? How do you know it's not the flu? Uh, it's allergies. Well, it's allergy season. Okay, well, it could be cold and flu too. So I want to talk about what the difference is what you have, and then what to do about it, because there's different things you do about each one. Uh, and a lot of things are the same, by the way, too, which is kind of cool. So uh, colds, flus caused by viruses. Now, if you're taking antibiotics for a cold or a flu, uh, that's usually not recommended by most physicians. And the reason is that it's a virus, and antibiotics don't have any effect on viruses. And if you, the more antibiotics you take, your body gets used to them. And what happens is you have good bacteria and bad bacteria in your body. And the good bacteria get killed off when you take antibiotics along with the bad ones. Well, if enough good ones get killed off, you weaken your immune system. In fact, about 70% of your immune system is in your digestive system, and it's the bacteria fighting off the bad guys before they get absorbed into your body. Every time you eat something, every time you breathe, every time you bite your fingernails, bad things are getting into your body. And with good bacteria, you kill them off. So the antibiotics can kill off the good and the bad. That's why so many physicians now and physicians groups are saying use less antibiotics, not more. When I was a kid, everything was antibiotics. Didn't matter what you had. You had a hangnail, you're ugly, it didn't matter. Here, take some antibiotics and it seemed to help. But now we're realizing that that was not good advice. And in fact, pediatricians now recommending to with ear infections not to give the children antibiotics because the, the, the time recovery rate is the same. Either way, if they take it or not take it. So they recommend in most cases, not all, to not take them and not arbitrarily take them. Make sure your doctor has given you good advice. Well, how do you know it's good advice? But make sure your doctor has given you advice as to when and when not to take them. So if you have a cold or the flu and you're taking antibiotics, it's going to weaken your immune system. If you have an allergy, it's not going to work anyway. So it doesn't matter. So the allergy is not the problem. It's the cause of the allergy. Why is your body reacting differently than other people? The allergen is not the problem. Otherwise, we'd all have a reaction. So if there's pollen, let's assume you say you have an allergy to pollen. It's not the pollen that's the problem. It's how your body is responding to it. Now, sometimes our body has uh, big, big responses. And in cases like that, it can be very serious. If you start having anaphylactic shock because you're allergic to shellfish and you can't breathe, you need to deal with that. And if you know you have that, you need to carry around what they call an EpiPen and make sure that if you have a reaction, you're, you, you cover yourself or bee stings. But if we keep the body healthy we're less likely to have an allergic reaction. So this is the difference between an allergic reaction and a sensitivity. I eat something, whatever it is. Let's say it's uh, uh, dairy products, okay? Most people are allergic to dairy products. My body or your body produces a certain antibody against this allergen, and I can take a blood test and say, yes, I have this allergy to this food or this pollen or whatever it is. The symptoms are identical if you have a sensitivity, but your body is not producing a certain type of uh, a a a antibody against it. And so whether you're having an allergy or a sensitivity, you're experiencing the same thing. It doesn't matter to you. It's more blood work stuff. So the allergies are the symptom. Your body is either too toxic or your immune system is not responding normally. Otherwise, everyone who ate eggs or everyone who ate shellfish would have a reaction. So now we have to start looking at not so much the allergen, the thing you're being exposed to, but how your body responds to it. Once again, some people are going to have excessive responses, and we have to address that. But if you keep your body healthy, you're less likely to have what most people would consider an allergic reaction. Medication can suppress your body's response to the allergen, but again, you want to find out why your immune system is acting so weird. So there's three primary types of allergens, environmental, chemical, and food. Symptoms of an allergy. They could be things like nasal congestion, coughing, wheezing, itching, hives, rashes. How about this? Headaches, joint pain, fatigue, depression, digestive problems, ADD, hemorrhoids, acne, arthritis, colitis, insomnia, dark circles under the eyes, diarrhea, PMS, colds, infections. These can all be reactions, and you've never even thought about that. So one of the things I like to do with my patients, and I do this with all my patients, and I've been doing this for many years now, is when a patient comes into our office, we have them print up, and you can go to my website and do this. It's free. It's called a diet diary. Just go to my website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world. And under patient forms, you'll see diet diary. Print it up. It's free. Even if you're not a patient, it's fine. And start writing down everything you eat. 
And then if you have a reaction, if you have any of those things we just listed, the coughing, the wheezing, the hives, the, uh, the colitis, the ADD, uh, the headaches, write down how you feel in the column. I did this and I learned that I can't do any type of caffeine. If it's chocolate, if it's coffee, it's soda, I cannot do any caffeine, I get a blazing headache. So by doing this, I said, okay, I'm having a reaction to caffeine. Why am I having a reaction to caffeine? I'm not sure. But I know I need to avoid caffeine. My immune system is pretty strong, but caffeine is the thing that sets me off. So you'll start writing things down, and a lot of your health problems are going to be resolved by this, by the way. You start writing down how you respond to different things. And you'll say, gosh, I always get a headache when I drink diet soda. Is it an allergy? Yeah, probably not, but you can't drink diet sodas. I can't drink caffeine. It's not an allergy. It's just my response. And you'll start to notice every time I go to Bob's house, I have a sinus problem. Or every time I go out with uh, Sarah, I start to get an uh, ear infection. Now, these people may have things in their house that you're having a reaction to. They might have perfumes that they wear, colognes, hairsprays, which we'll talk about a little later. So you really want to start tracking what's causing it. Then you can get to how you're reacting. And you know what? Maybe I just shouldn't go out with Sarah anymore because Sarah's perfume is killing me. Or maybe I shouldn't go to Bob's house because he has uh, air freshener. That, that, that really gets to me. And you'll start to isolate where the problems are. Because so many of you, if you've done this, have gone to doctors and a doctor does those needle tests. And I'm not against that. And they say, you're allergic to whatever. I remember when I was a kid, I had my needle test done, my allergy sensitivity test. And I was allergic to camel hair. I lived in Hoboken, New Jersey. I had to walk three blocks to see a tree. There were no camels in Hoboken, New Jersey. And yet the test said that I was having a reaction to it. Well, that's great, but what good is that information to me? Didn't do me any good. So many times if you start doing your own studies, you'll find you'll come up with a better solution than uh, the doctors will and what the tests will. So many times you got to be your own doctor, and that's a whole nother show I can do. Folks, I'm going to have to go to a break. I'm going to talk a lot more about allergies, what causes it, what you can do to prevent them. If you have a question, I'm going to open up the phone lines. Any healthcare question, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-J-O-E. My website, lots of good information there, drjoeesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe with the number one Dr. Joe in the world. Like, Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. We're going to be right back. I'm so glad you're listening. I'm Dr. Joe, and we're talking today about allergies because so many people have these, quote, allergies, and they're not sure. They say it's allergies, and it may not be allergies. It could just be a reaction. It could be a food sensitivity because uh, before the break, we said there's three types of allergens, allergies or allergens, environmental, chemical, and food. And food is the one that you have the most control over. And the number one food allergen there is is dairy products. That's butter, cheese, yogurt, ice cream. So I'm going to suggest this, and I want you to try this. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So what? I want you to not eat dairy for seven days. Not even a little, not something mixed in a food, not, not something that had milk in a, in a donut or whatever. No dairy. Butter, cheese, yogurt, ice cream, eggs, milk. And let your body kind of reset itself. Then have some dairy. Have a glass of milk. Have a piece of cheese and see how you feel. And chances are you're not going to feel very good. You may have bloating, gas, sinus problems, and you're going to say, wow, you're right. Dr. Joe was right. What's another Dr. Joe was right, of course. Uh, and, and see how you do. The number two food allergen is wheat. Now, that's breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pasta. So I want you to stay away from them as well. So here's the ultimate challenge. No wheat. That's tough, guys. Most of you eat wheat two, three, four times a day. No wheat, no dairy, seven days. On the seventh day, reintroduce one of them, either dairy or wheat. See how you feel. Do that for a day or two. Stop doing that one. Let's assume you do dairy first. Stop doing the dairy. Reintroduce the wheat for a day or two. See how you feel. And chances are you're going to notice a dramatic difference, and you're going to say, wow, now I'm working on my allergies. And what happens is, too, if your body is constantly on a high state of alert, Code orange, whatever the high state of alert is. Your body's in, in, in this high state of alert because you're always putting wheat and dairy into the body. Whenever something else comes in that normally it would be able to handle, it can't handle. And then it blows up, so to speak. And you become hypersensitive to everything. So give that a shot. This is a simple, quick, easy rule. Now, as cold and flu season rolls around, you need to stay away from the wheat and the dairy anyway. Because it's going to put stress on your immune system and you're going to be way more likely to get sick. I know this because I've tried this for many, many years on and off 
And every single time, I'm right. I don't want you to have to discover what it took me years to discover. If I eat anything wrong, it happens. And watch what happens as we start getting into the holiday seasons. If you start noticing right around October 31st, November 1st, 2nd, 3rd, people start getting sick. Why? What just happened? Halloween. What did you do on Halloween? You bought candy. And if you didn't give it all out, you ate the rest. I know you did. Don't lie to me. Or you had kids that trick-or-treated, and then you did it. It was a Halloween party at work, and you started the party season. And the week after Halloween, watch what happens. Everybody says, oh, my allergies are acting up. It's not allergies. It's your immune system going wackadoodle. Then people settle down. Thanksgiving comes along. The week after Thanksgiving, everybody's sick between Thanksgiving and Christmas. They start getting better. Christmas, they, they start blowing it out again. New Year's and the first week of the year, you're amazed how many people are out of work. I've been saying this now for 35 years. I've never been wrong. I'm not going to be wrong again any year in the future. So really start thinking about what foods am I putting in my body that are causing an allergic reaction that are putting stress on my body. Wheat and dairy, number one and number two. Chemical reactions. This is a biggie because a lot of you are going to have reactions to certain uh, chemicals and you don't even know it. Oh, let me back up a little bit with foods. I, I got a lot to cover here today. Uh, oh, but if you have a question, by the way, open up the phone lines, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DRJOE. That number rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air, by the way, if you need to reach us. This is the coolest test ever in the history of the universe. Find out if you're having a reaction. Stay away from a suspected food or chemical or perfume or person or watch or computer or whatever it is for about four days. Then expose yourself to a moderate amount of it on an empty stomach. Okay, so perfumes, of course, may not matter so much. But I want you to have an empty stomach when you do this test because I don't want you reacting to food that's already in your stomach. So let's assume you're testing dairy. Four or five days, no dairy. On an empty stomach, eat dairy. Test your pulse before you eat the food and then eat it. And about a minute or two afterwards, test your pulse again. Just You can use a machine or just put your fingers on your wrist and monitor your pulse. Count for about 30 seconds so you get a good test. If your pulse raises, rises, rises, raises, goes up, even a few beats, three, four, five beats, you're having a reaction to that food. So this is the quickest, easiest, coolest test you can do to find out if you're having a reaction. Same thing with perfumes. I can't tell you how many people come into my office stinking like a, like a, a cheap store, and I'll say, listen, you're having health problems. I'm your chiropractor. I'm trying to get you well. My team of doctors are trying to get you well, and I want you to stay away from your perfume. Now, some people fight me on that, and I'll say, do this test. No perfume, no, no deodorants, hairsprays that have smell for four days. And then on an empty stomach, so you're not having a reaction to anything else, put on the perfume, monitor your pulse before you put it on, monitor it after. If it goes up four, five, six, seven beats a minute or more, you're having a reaction to that chemical. And I don't want you to do that because so many of you would get so much healthier, so much faster if you stop putting these toxins in your body. I'm going to go to callers. If you have a question, give us a call, 844 Joe. Joe, how can we make your day better? Hey, Dr. Joe, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I, had, I, had, I had a two-part question. The first part is uh, I'm thinking about going to a chiropractor here in Douglasville. Doesn't doesn't use x-rays. Okay. Um, I have scoliosis. Yes. He says it doesn't matter. What do you think? I will respectfully disagree with that. Again, I, I have my own x-ray machine. I don't rec x-ray all our patients, but if somebody has an issue that we don't know where it's coming from, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So personally, I like to be I err on the side of caution. So if that doctor wants to do it, it's their call, but not in my office. So second okay, question. Second part, second part of the question is uh, I have what's called a uh, fluid on the brain. Yes. Hydrocephalus. Yes, hydrocephalus, yes. And I'm wondering, could that be due to a misalignment of my uh, cervical vertebrae? Uh, it's possible because y your fluid builds up in your brain. You have things called ventricles. The ventricles then drain out of the brain. So could it be related? Possibly. And it's certainly worth looking into because if it doesn't work, well, it didn't work. But if it does work, that may help the situation. Now, there are adjustments you can do to the skull itself. It's called cranial adjusting. And there's not a lot of doctors that know how to do it. I've trained my doctors in my offices, so they know how to do it. But that's something else you might want to consider as well, is finding somebody who can do cranial manipulation to work on the skull bones to try to start pumping that fluid out of the brain. 
Will it work? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Is it worth a shot? Absolutely worth it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Joe. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate the call. Folks, if you have a question, just like Joe did, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-DR-JOE, my website, drjoesposito.com. So we're talking today about allergies. And one thing you want to do is keep your immune system as strong as possible. Something I do, I do it every day, sometimes two, three times a day, is I do something called Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. They're two products. They're two powders. I have it sitting right in front of me here in the studio. They taste great. I take a scoop of each. I mix it with coconut milk, almond milk. Uh, the other day I ran out. I had just had a little bit of apple juice and some water I mixed it with. You can do it with water, too. It just isn't as tasty. Um, and at least once a day because your body needs a certain amount of vitamins, minerals, and nutrients in order to work at its optimum level. So that's why I recommend everybody take Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. Uh, and there's some disclaimers on the website. So if you want to order that, you can go to my website, drjoesposito.com, Google Dr. Joe, also available on Amazon. A lot of people have Amazon accounts. But start taking care of yourself, folks. You'll be amazed what happens when you make just these little tiny changes. Now, we've got a lot more to talk about. If you want to listen to these shows archived, it's drjoesposito.com. Hey, tell your friends about the show. We're going to be right back. I am so glad that you're here. Dr. Joe here. I'm glad you could join us. We're talking about allergies. And is it really an allergy? Is it a food allergen? Is it an uh, environmental allergen? Is it a chemical allergen? Either way, what do you do about it? Because we can take antihistamines, which stop the histamine reaction, which is okay. Uh, that's not a bad thing if you're having a real bad reaction. But then we want to try to get to the cause of the problem as well. Now, I'm not against drugs. I'm not against surgery. If I have a blazing headache, I'm going to take some medicine to get rid of my headache. And then I want to find out why I have the headache. If I'm having an allergic reaction, I want to find out why. And I can tell you this. When I was younger, I was, quote, allergic to everything. My sinuses ran constantly. I had tissues in all my pockets. I remember playing football. I had tissues stuffed in my, my football pants. Always had a runny nose. And then finally I realized as I got older, and it was, it was a strange thing that happened, woke up one morning, I didn't have a runny nose. And I thought, this is really weird. I was probably in my 20s, I guess. Yeah, I was, I was in graduate school, yeah. And I said, I don't have a runny nose. Something's wrong. So I waited, and the next day I woke up, didn't have a runny nose. I said, oh, my gosh, all of a sudden, instantaneous healing. Woke up the third day, had a runny nose. So I did what I tell you to do all the time is write down everything you eat and then notice how you feel. And so I, I, t I went back as far as I could a couple of days and what I ate. I wrote down everything I ate. Nothing seemed strange. And then on the third day, I had a big bowl of uh, what we call macaroni, pasta, and boom, my sinuses started running. So I thought to myself, no, this can't be. I'm Italian. I can't be allergic to wheat. This is impossible. So it must be something wrong. So I did the experiment, like I tell you, seven days with no wheat in my case or dairy. Then I ate it again. Sure enough, boom, sinuses started running. And that's why my first book I wrote is called Eating Right for the Health of It. We talk about how to eat and what to eat. And I even have recipes. I have well over 200 recipes in that book. And everything in there is, is gluten-free. Wheat, barley, and rye has gluten in it. Because most people have a reaction to that. And I did. And when I finally gave it up, I was amazed. And if every now and then I'm exposed to some gluten, I start getting a little runny nose, I said, I bet you I had some gluten somewhere along the way. So it really is a real thing. And I want you to try it. And you'll be amazed how good you feel. The other thing I'm concerned about when it comes to allergies is how your body is processing or digesting your food. And the number one reason we see patients in our clinics, and again, I'm, I'm board certified in chiropractic, orthopedics, pain management, double board certified in nutrition, BS in nutrition, award-winning author, this radio show is heard coast to coast and around the world. It's the number one health and radio broadcast in the country. So I kind of got a background in this, 32 years in practice too, by the way. So when patients come in our office, we want to get them well, not just through chiropractic, but we want to get them well otherwise through nutrition. And the number one reason, as I said, is pain. The number two reason we see patients is for digestive problems, acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating. Raise your hand if that's you. There it is. I know a lot of hands just went up. So... <laughs> because it's a big issue. And so many people, ha it's not something you talk about. It's not first date conversation, right? Hi, I'm Joe. Nice to meet you. A little gassy today. It's not something you talk about because uh, for some reason, digestion is off the table. But if you have the acid reflux, it can cause it can cause burning of the esophagus. It can cause esophageal cancer. It can irritate your throat, cause coughing, sinus problems. And so what we do is we test out patients, and then we can gently massage or pull the stomach down away from the diaphragm. So you have to physically move the stomach. You can take pills all day to shut down your production of acid, to help the, the reflux. Those work, 
but treating the symptoms, but then you don't have acid in your stomach to properly digest proteins, which we're going to talk about in a second. So you may stop the acid from coming up, but now you're affecting your digestive system. And also a lot of those pills, you can't absorb calcium, magnesium, B12, and iron. <gasps> That's kind of important too, isn't it? Yeah. So if you have acid reflux, go to my website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. Uh, under blog, you'll see a, a link that says Dr. Joe's articles. I think it's the fourth or fifth or sixth article down. It's on gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, G-E-R-D. Read that article, and it talks about the techniques that my doctors use in our offices to pull the stomach away from the diaphragm. Extremely effective. We've had people come from far away as Romania to be treated in our offices because one person got very ma mad with me in, in, in a, was it Eastern Europe. And apparently shows heard all over the country, all over the world. And they wanted me to go to Eastern Europe and teach some of the techniques that we talk about. And I said, I don't have time. And one guy got really rude in the email. You know, you have these special secrets in America. And you're not sharing with the, the Europeans. And we need this information. Our people are sick too. It's like, oh, I wish I could go to Romania or Eastern Europe. It would be fun. But I just don't have the time. Uh, let's go back to the callers. If you have a question, give us a call. 844-44-DR-JOE. 844-44-DR-JOE. Is it Christy? Yes. Hi. Hey, Dr. Joe. Hi there. How can we help you today? I, I had a question for you regarding my one-year-old son. Yes. You know the doctors are recommending whole milk, and I had a severe dairy um, intolerance during my pregnancy and then during breastfeeding, and then he's – I'm not positive, but I, I think that he still has a sensitivity, and I'm just sure. really wanting to stay away from dairy. Do you have any good recommendation for toddlers? Absolutely. Um, now, again, you could do coconut milk, almond milk, and I use those like I mix my Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source in those. But I don't look at that as a mm -hmm. food. I look at that as just like a little treat for me. So you could use coconut mm -hmm. milk, almond milk. Those are fine. Hemp milk are great, is great, are great. Um, any of those are fine mm -hmm. for a toddler and for adults, too. I haven't had any dairy products in over 30 years, and I think you should, too. Um, so any right. of those are great substitutes. They just don't have a lot of protein, I guess is what the doctor is saying, but I'm, I'm guessing you're to say supplement with other... Well, it's funny. I was at a party last night. Friends protein. of mine were getting married and uh, ran into somebody I hadn't seen in like 20, 30 years. And she goes, oh my God, you're Dr. Joe. And I said, yeah. She goes, I remember you're Joe Esposito. I said, well, it's still me. And she said, you're a <laughs> vegan, right? And I said, yeah. She goes, where do you get your protein? Number one question we get by far. Let me answer that mm -hmm. for you. Your body needs about 8 to 10% of its total caloric intake as protein. Anything mm -hmm. beyond that is wasted and has to be processed out of your system. It goes through your kidneys. It goes through your liver. So most people are getting way too much protein. Even bodybuilders don't need a whole lot of protein. If you're an Olympic athlete, you might need 12% of your total caloric intake as protein. So even though the milk oh. does have protein in it, it also has casein, which we don't have the enzyme renin to break down casein. It has lactose. Mm -hmm. lactose. We don't have the enzyme lactase to break down the lactose. So you can get protein mm -hmm. from anywhere. Where do cows get protein from? Grass, gorillas, okay. plants, okay. elephants. Mm -hmm. So if you're worried about the protein, which you shouldn't be, by the way, but if you are, you can get a plant-based protein and just mix it in with the coconut milk or almond milk. And by the way, if he's drinking, you could also do, give him super greens and essential source, and you'll be amazed. But most people are way, way too worried about protein. We don't need that much. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks for the call. I appreciate it. And that's a great question that Christy had there because kids, you know, as a chiropractor, I, I get that question all the time. Well, you know, I, I, my child is one or something. He's always pulling on his ear, always has ear infections, has colic, is hurt, he holds his back and says, owies. I'm going to wait till he's older and then bring him in to come see you guys. Why? The youngest baby I've ever adjusted was just out of the womb. Literally got wiped off by the doctors. The, I, the trip down to birth canal was a little challenging. I went in, I adjusted her atlas, her top bone. It was on the left side. I pushed it back to the right very gently. We don't adjust kids like we do adults. It's fine. Child's been under chiropractic care her whole life. She's 13 years old now. She's doing great. So, yeah, if you have a spine, chances are you have misalignments, and you have misalignments, you want to put them back in. There's not a pill in the world that's going to move a bone back in place. So I want you to think about that. If a bone is out of place and you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, shooting pain down your leg, chances are it's a physical problem and it's not something that's going to be fixed chemically. Folks, got to go to a break. If you have a question, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. 
We're talking about al a a allergy today, what's causing it, what you can do to fix it. And we're going to give you lots of good tips about the digestive thing we talked about, not only pulling the stomach down, certain foods you can eat that'll help and certain foods you need to avoid. My website, if you want to order the supplements, drjoesposito.com. We're going to be right back. Esposito.com. We're going to be... Hey, thanks for listening. And thanks for telling your friends about the show. Because it's always fun. Whenever on the air, uh, people like my Facebook... Well, oh, by the way, like my Facebook page. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram or like my page. Uh, and it's always fun. We're on the air. We just see like, like, follow, follow, follow. So that's kind of cool. So, But we do send out good information periodically. We don't send out a lot of stuff. We send out a newsletter too, by the way. If you go to my website, drjoesposito.com, uh, just send us your email address. They contact us. They put me on your newsletter list, and we'll put you on newsletter list. And we send out really good information, good health tips constantly. It's no charge. We never give out your email address. Don't worry. Uh, we haven't been hacked. You know, we, we're not associated with Equifax at all, so we haven't been hacked. Um, and you can uh, get some good information there, too. And again, it's no charge. It's my little gift to you. And we, we archive all our radio shows. Um, and we also videotape my live lectures because I thought when I first started doing this that we would have so many hits on the radio archives, and we do. We have hundreds of thousands of hits. But my videos are really popular. I'm really surprised how many people like to watch the lectures as opposed to just hear them. And those are all on my website. No charge. DrJoeEsposito.com. You could also order Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source. We have an intestinal cleanser, Dr. Joe's Intestinal Cleanser, uh, all there. And coming out soon are going to be Dr. Joe's Immune Booster and Dr. Joe's Cold and Flu Tonic, which also help the immune system because today we are talking about allergies. So think about the chemicals that you're being exposed to every single day, and there's a ton of them. I know uh, I've been I'm, recently. I was just looking at a house with a friend of mine, and we went to a couple of houses. And going to the basement, it smelled like mold. They were right near a lake, and I said, "You know what? There's a moldy smell in here. That mold is very toxic and can kill you." And she said, "A lot of people around here have died, like earlier than they should have." Now, is it directly linked to the mold? I don't know. But if your house smells like mold, folks, get a mold expert in there. Find out where the mold is coming from and treat it because it's not just an allergic reaction, sinus problems, runny nose, mood swings. It can kill you. Mold is a very serious uh, issue in a lot of people's lives. And you think, oh, it just smells musty in here. That mustiness you have to get rid of. If your basement smells like it, if your attic smells like it, if your bedroom smells like it, get that fixed. Because I can't tell you how many people, healthy people, you're eating right, you're getting chiropractic care, you're exercising, it's going to get you. It may not get you as fast, faster as, as bad, but it's going to get you. So environmental uh, issues. Now, let me go back to chemicals because perfumes, deodorants, shampoos, cleansers, paint, carpeting, metals. Deodorants. Let me cover that for a second here. There's two types, that you, two types of things you can put on your arm. One of them is called an antiperspirant. One is called a deodorant. Do you know the difference? An antiperspirant has aluminum chlorhydrate in it. And aluminum is a highly toxic chemical. Now, in our offices, we do a lot of hair analysis with our patients because we do a nutritional workup. We may recommend supplements, Dr. Joe Supergreens, Dr. Joe Essential Source. We may recommend other supplements as well, dietary changes. But sometimes we got to go a little deeper, and we do a hair analysis. And I am amazed how many people have high aluminum and high mercury in their hair. That's the only test that's really going to be valid, a true valid test is a hair analysis. It's relatively inexpensive. And you cut a piece of the hair, we send it off to the laboratory, and then we go over it with the patient. And I just had uh, somebody come in with their, their children. I've been treating these girls since they were born, and they're, I don't know, seven or eight now. And real bad attention issues, real bad focusing issues, and we did a, a test on them loaded with aluminum, both of them, I mean, off the chart. And they're twins. So, like, that's a lot of aluminum. Now, where do you get aluminum from? Well, antiperspirants, but these are seven-year-olds. They're not using antiperspirants. Many times in vaccines, they'll use something called an adjuvant. An adjuvant is a chemical that they add to the vaccine to cause the immune system to be hyper-excited and start attacking this adjuvant, aluminum being a good one, mercury being another one, but aluminum is very common. And the immune system starts attacking the mercury, so the immune system gets overexcited. And it works. It fights off viruses, germs, bacteria. It works great. The problem is that if you can't detoxify the aluminum, it stays in your body and your immune system is constantly attacking this aluminum or these adjuvants. And it doesn't get out of your system sometimes ever. And so you have to go through a metal detox or heavy metal detox to get it out. And that's a process that we can talk about. It's not, it's not something we need to talk about today. But it's amazing how many people have heavy metals in their body. So if you're going to use something under your arms, and by the way, I recommend you do, at least do a deodorant and not an antiperspirant. Can you do that for me? 
You notice those, those antiperspirants, you put them on, they last for a couple of days. Well, that's the aluminum just clogging up your pores, but the aluminum can be absorbed into your body. Now, the argument, you know, the devil's advocate argument would be, well, that it's big chunks of aluminum. It can't be absorbed. Like people use those crystals for deodorant, and they say, oh, it's natural. It's all natural crystal. That's alum. Alum is aluminum. And I called a company one day, and I said, you, it's aluminum in here. And they said, well, it's, it's a big molecule that can't be absorbed. I said, that doesn't even make sense. The body can absorb a lot of big molecules. Why wouldn't it absorb this? Well, it just doesn't. Well, I said, don't use those crystals. Don't use, don't use the uh, antiperspirants. Use a deodorant. Now, there are natural deodorants, too, and I'm going to be honest with you. They don't work as well in many cases as the chemical deodorants. So maybe you want to use a natural deodorant in the winter when you don't sweat as much and maybe go to a more commercial deodorant in the summer. But what will happen is this. Once your body starts to get healthy and you start to clean up your act and your body starts to clean itself up and you only put good foods in your body like fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, you don't stink as much. It's really cool. It's really amazing. And, as, and people tell me this all the time, and it works for me too. You can go out and you'll sweat, and you, you're not going to smell like roses, but it's not nearly that toxic smell that so many people have because when you sweat, it's the toxic poisons coming out of your system. So it's really a neat little thing you can do here, and that's going to help tremendously with cutting back the chemicals in your body, which is affecting the immune system, which is affecting the allergies. I use something called Castile soap, which is a liquid soap. They have it in bars, too. But it's, it's a natural soap. It's made with oil, actually, because likes dissolve likes. If you ever took a chemistry class, oils dissolve oils. Now, detergents also dissolve oils, but I don't want to put a detergent on my body. So the Castile soap, very gentle, rinses off very easily. Uh, it's edible. Because think about it. If you put something on your skin, it gets absorbed. You can do drugs on your skin. It can be absorbed. So if you're putting toxic chemicals like perfumes and hairsprays and deodorants, it's going to get absorbed into your body, which is going to affect the immune system, which can cause allergies or make you more susceptible to having allergic reactions. So either way, it's not a good thing. And then take the stress off your diet because so many of you are putting so much stress, so many stressful foods in your diet. Number one food allergen we said is dairy. Number two is wheat, and that's wheat, wheat barley, and rye. The hardest food to digest is animal proteins. And many times, if you're not digesting your food properly, you're not breaking down your proteins into amino acids. These large chunks of protein get absorbed in your small intestine. They get into the body. The body sees these large chunks of protein. It attacks it, and that's called an allergic reaction, your body having a hypersensitivity to a, to a protein. So by fixing the immune system, getting the diet straightened out, getting the spine and the nervous system working, eating the right foods, you'll be amazed how much better you get. Folks, got to go to a break. My website, lots of good information there. If you want to order Super Greens, Essential Source, also available on Amazon, too. You can go to the website or, or Amazon, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Listen to archive radio shows on the website. And if you have questions, by the way, send them to me through the website, drjoesposito.com. The number here, 844-44-DR-JOE. We'll be right back. Hey, there we go. Hey, folks, <laughs> Dr. Joe here. <laughs> Mod. I didn't look at a mod to be, be cute in here. I was bad boy. Uh, so, so glad you're here. I am Dr. Joe Esposito. First time joining us. Thank you. Glad you could take some time out of your day. Hope you're going to learn a lot of good information as every show is just super packed with information on things that you can do to naturally get well and stay well. That's the goal of the show, to give you the tools that you need to get well and stay well. And we were talking the other day, a couple of friends of mine, and we were talking about the healthcare situation in the United States. And I talk about this a lot on the show because obviously the show's about health. And no one's talking about health care. Everybody's talking about insurance. So number one, regardless of who pays for it, health care is you and or your doctor, your health care provider, giving you the tools to get well. Number two, doctors are dropping out of practice like crazy. You may have known some doctors that have dropped out. They're just done. I don't want to do it anymore. I quit. Less and less doctors are signing up to become doctors. Medical doctors, chiropractors, surgeons. It's just the, the, the numbers are plummeting. And I promise you, in the next few years, well, we're starting now, we're in it, a doctor shortage. And so regardless of who's paying for it, I don't care if it's a single payer, multiple, well, I do care, but single payer, multiple payer, if it's a Obamacare, Joe Obamacare, well, no, Joe Obamacare is a good thing, actually. So you're going to be amazed. I promise you, tr trust me on this. You're going to say Dr. Joe was right on this one. There's not going to be a whole lot of people out there to take care of you. And the ones that are, are going to be so busy that they're not going to be able to spend a lot of time with you, and you're going to get frustrated. 
And then you're going to say, Dr. Joe, where are those archived radio shows? Where's all that information you gave us all those years ago to take care of yourself? It's going to be on my website, drjoesposito.com, like it is now. But if you don't start doing it now, I promise you, you're going to regret that decision. So today we're talking about allergies and food allergies. I always talk about the seven deadly sins of nutrition. And these are the foods that put such a major strain on your immune system. And the seven deadly sins are alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. And I know you're thinking, well, that's my whole diet, Dr. Joe. That's all I've ever eaten. I know that. I see you and people like you in our offices every single day. I've been doing this for 32 years. But you got to get the immune system healthy. So the easiest way to do that is take the stress off the immune system so it can do its job. So I would strongly advise you cut back or cut out the alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. If you want to see a whole lecture on that, go to my website, drjoesposito.com. Uh, under, I think it's under blog. No, it's under media. We have Dr. Joe's YouTube channel. Click on that. You'll see one of the top lectures is Dr. Joe's Seven Deadly Sins of Nutrition. Take an hour out of your day and listen. It'll be one of the best hours you've ever spent in your entire life because I'm going to teach you so much information, not just that you should give these things up, and it's not some radical jumping up and down lecture. It's why. Here's the science behind what I'm saying. And you'll say, like all my patients do, why didn't I do this sooner? You were right, Dr. Joe. That makes sense. I promise you, everyone does. Say, that makes sense. I, I, I can understand it. And you may not give, do everything I say, and I get that. I'm a realist. But I want you to do some of it. At least give up the wheat and the dairy products. For today's show, we're talking about allergies. Give up the wheat, give up the dairy products, 10 days. Go back to eating wheat and dairy, and you'll be amazed what happens. You're going to see. Your sinuses are running, you're bloated, you're gassy, your mood swings come back, uh, you don't feel good, you're constipated, and you're going to say, Dr. Joe's right. All my health problems, maybe, maybe this is you, are coming from this. Now, as a chiropractor, I always look at the nervous system as well because the nerves control everything. So if you have a pinched nerve going to your colon, you may have colon problems. You have a pinched nerve going to your liver, your spleen, your heart, uh, your prostate, your ovaries. you got to open up the nerve supply physically. you got to fix it chemically, and you got to get the digestive system working. So the acid reflux, the heartburn, the burping, that's usually a physical problem. You need to pull it down away from the – pull the stomach away from the diaphragm, get the colon to relax. And I tell you, I've had people want to name their kids after us after they've had that fixed. It's pretty cool. Let's go back to the callers. If you have a question, give us a call, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-J-O-E. That number, by the way, rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air. And how can we make your day better? Hi, Dr. Joe. I have a question. I'd like to know what your opinion is regarding ozone therapy medically uh, as it relates to curing or alleviating allergies and back pain, neck pain, etc., whether it's taken by injection or breathing. And I don't know how they do it, but sure. okay. what is your opinion of ozone therapy? I think it has a place. I think that some of it is a lot of hype. Um, almost with every therapy, it's like, oh my gosh, it's the greatest thing in the world and you should do this. And it's okay and it has some validity sometimes. Uh, ozone therapy I'm okay with. I don't have a problem with it. Um, but I don't think it's the end-all, be-all. In all the research I've done in 35 years now, normally functioning nervous system, normally functioning digestive system, and good nutrition is the beginning of getting your body healthy. Then you add things like ozone therapy. Then you add things like aromatherapy. Then you add uh, whatever, and then the body starts to respond. But Is there any data that supports any of it? The ozone therapy? I would think uh -huh. so. I mean, I've read it before. I can't quote it right now off the top of my head, okay. but I'm sure there's I've, – I've read research that has shown it, and I've known people that have done it, and I've gotten anecdotal research as well. So, yeah, it's out there. Um, all righty. Thank you much. Great, and I appreciate the call. If you have a question, folks, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-DR-JOE. Eric, how can we make your day better? Hi, Dr. Joe. Uh, recently I went vegan thanks to watching Forks Over Knives and listening yes. to your program. Excellent. I'm still having the occasional gout flare-up, however, and I wondered if there's something else dietary I could do or something else I'm completely missing here. Sure. Well, a lot of times when you think gout, you think meat. Meat breaks down into purines, and purines cause the uric acid, and uric acid causes that. The thing that everybody seems to forget about is that sugar can break down, and fructose can break down into uric acid. Let me explain this to you. When you put fructose in your body, whether it's high fructose corn syrup or even just a lot of fruit, the fructose has to be converted into glucose— which is the type of fuel that your cells and your brain utilizes. 
in the process, if you have more than 20, let's say 20 grams of fructose a day, you create a waste product called uric acid. Uric acid gets into the joints and causes the gout. So even though you've gone vegan, you've got to be careful not to be putting sugar in the body and not too much fruit either. For you, if you have gout, I'd say no fruit at all or maybe one or two pieces a day, something that isn't very sweet. Maybe like berries, for example, would be a good choice. I do, you know, a third of a banana and some mixed fruit in my smoothie, you know, every day, and that's all the fruit I have. It's okay. I don't know, probably a little less than 20, but I should, I'm going to try cutting it out altogether. Cut it out altogether and see what happens, because the fructose is another source of uric acid, and that's a big problem that everybody seems to forget. Now, you don't do high yeah. fructose corn syrup, I hope, but a lot of people do. No. Yeah. Um, and, I, you know, in the smoothie, I, I take Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source, and we sweeten that with stevia, so you're perfectly fine if you need to throw something in there. Get your fruits and vegetables without the sugar. That's why I make the Essential Source. Awesome. Hey, my blood pressure's down 13 points. My heart rate, resting rate, down 13 points. I lost 13 pounds in the first three weeks. Wow. I just feel so much better, so I'm, I'm so, glad I gave up the so, seven deadly foods. There you go. I love that, Eric. Say it again. You gave up the what? <laughs> The seven deadly foods. And it does work, right? And it, you feel better. You oh, save, yeah. You're saving money. Um, oh, yeah. Feeling great, sleeping better, going to the bathroom better, losing weight, blood pressure down. Better, yes. Is there a downside to this? I can't think of one, no. I haven't found it. Excellent, man. I'm real proud of you. Good work. Keep up the good work. Thanks. Thanks so yep. much. And it's funny, folks. I, I know I talked to people like uh, I was at a party the other night, and um, uh, people say, well, I don't know how you do that. I don't know how you don't, don't eat animal products. We just don't eat them. It's a passive thing. It's not an active thing. It's a passive thing. And again, I don't care if you go vegan or not. That's your choice. Whatever you decide is up to you. I just want to give you information. And then you make the decision like Eric did. And I've never known anyone in all the years I've been doing this that went to a more plant-based diet, that got their spine lined up, got their stomach fixed, got on some good supplements that said, I, I saw no results whatsoever. I've never seen that happen. So that's why I made Super Greens an essential source for people like Eric and everyone else because too much fruit can be bad too. So that's an issue as well. So too much fruit can be bad. Too little. You can do no fruit if you want to. The vegetables are really going to be the source. Folks, got to go to break. If you have a question, give us a call, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-DR-JOE. My website, drjoesposito.com. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Calm. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. Glad you could spend a little time with me. We're talking today about allergies. Uh, big problem. A lot of people have them, and people say, well, you know, it's the it's season. It's the ragweed. It's the spring. It's the, it's the trees blooming. Yeah, if you're going to blow powder up somebody's nose, a, a physical irritant, it's probably going to irritate them to some extent. So that's not uncommon, but you want to keep the immune system strong so you don't have an overreaction, and then you end up being miserable, and you can't breathe. You can't go out of the house. So the healthier you are, the less likely you're going to ha- be to have problems. So a couple suggestions I want you to think about. Uh, it could be leaky gut. Now, leaky gut, I remember talking about this 30, 35 years ago, and it was like, what the heck is that? Never heard of it. Now it's commonplace. So everything we talk about on the shows becomes commonplace. We're so far ahead of our time with this show. And so whatever you're getting now, you're going to see it become mainstream 5, 10 years from now, 15 years from now. With the information age, it's probably happening faster than 35 years ago. But I was right. The Dr. Joe was right column just goes on and on and on and on. Leaky gut is when you, you, your colon, uh, there are certain parts of your colon where the cells are only one cell thick. And if something tears a little hole in the colon, big chunks of undigested food, molecularly big chunks, get absorbed. And when they get absorbed into the body, the immune system attacks them. And then it has to carry it out the quickest way it can. And the quickest way to get something out of your body, like a protein after it's being attacked, is through your skin and your mucous membranes, like your sinuses, your bowels. So that's why a lot of people have sinus reactions. So one thing we have to start considering is healing your leaky gut. And you do that by cutting out what we call the seven deadly sins, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. And then other things can actually irritate you if you have an irritated gut already. And those are things called lectins. Now, lectins are found in things like lentils and uh, legumes. And lectins, gluten, by the way, is a lectin. Lectin can irritate the bowels, and that can cause problems. So if you're having a lot of the allergic reactions, if you're having a lot of uh, bloating and gas, brain fog, swelling, you might want to consider cutting out the legumes as well. That would be uh, lentils, soybeans. Cut those out for a while and let the gut heal. That's why people come to me all the time with irritable bowel syndrome and, and colitis and 
Um, and they say, well, Dr. Joe, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to eat. My doctor told me not to eat fibrous foods, but I need the fiber to clean out my colon. That's where Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source come in. Essential Source, we take fruits and vegetables, juice it. What's left is a powder. What's left is uh, we juice it and take the water out at a very low temperature so the enzymes aren't destroyed. And what's left is a powder. So one scoop of Essential Source is kind of like 10 servings of raw fruits and vegetables in a powder form. It's not as good, but some people, you know, it's a great concentrated, inexpensive form way to get it. But people with digestive problems, they get on that. They're able to start absorbing the nutrients and the colon starts to heal. Aloe vera juice is very good too if you have a bowel issue and that can help as well. So if you have a leaky gut syndrome, many times that's why you're having your allergies. We need to heal the leaky gut. As a chiropractor, we always check the nervous system because the nerves control everything. And if you have a pinched nerve going to your immune glands, like your, your, your lymphatic system, uh, your thymus, your spleen, pinched nerves can cause the organs to malfunction. So people always think chiropractic is pain, so much more than pain. Pain is like such a small piece of what we do. Now, most people come to our offices with pain, neck pain, back pain, car accidents, sports injuries. But when we get them in the office and we start explaining what we're doing, well, yeah, you're right, Dr. Joe, I do have low back pain and I have digestive problems. Nerve goes to the bowels. Well, Dr. Joe, I have low back pain and I have menstrual problems. Nerve into the sex organs. I have lower neck pain, I have asthma. Nerve supply to the lungs. So when every day when we get new patients in the office and I put together their, their wellness protocol, They say, how did you know that? How did you know I had blank? Just know where the wires are. So that's why chiropractic is is becoming, it's the number one alternative healthcare treatment aside from orthodox medicine. And it's it's coming up very quickly, I believe, will become part of mainstream healthcare. And people will just think, oh, I've got this, I go to a chiropractor. So I'm excited about that. So get the neurological test done. Check your nervous system. If you have pinched nerves, you definitely want to get that fixed. Do the rotation diet like we talked about. Keep foods out of your diet for 10 days, put it back in again, and see if there's a reaction. So you may have to go through your your diet diary. Like I said, go to my website, drjoesposito.com, and there's a under patient forms, there's something called diet diary. It's free. Print it up yourself. Start writing down what you're eating, see how you feel, and then start taking foods out. Rotate them out. Take them out for, you know, 10 days, put them back in again, see how you feel. Very simple thing to do. And if you just tuned in, you missed what I talked about earlier, take your pulse. You have an empty stomach, take your pulse, sitting down. Eat something. Eat something you think you're having a reaction to, whether it's wheat or dairy or artificial sweeteners or perfumes. Put it on your body. Wait about a minute and take your pulse again. If it goes up three, four, five, six beats a minute, you're having a reaction to it. It's a very simple, easy, free test that you can do to test to see if you're having problems. Go with more natural soaps and deodorants and cleansers, house cleaners, cleaning products. I have hardwood floors throughout my whole house. I've had all the carpets removed because carpets are just a breeding ground for things, critters, uh, bug feces, dead animals. They they, they break down their bodies, and you inhale them, and that can cause the body to react because it's a foreign protein. Take the good supplements, Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source. We do a nutrition uh, analysis on all our patients because we want to find out what their issues are and try to fix it. But generally speaking, start with the cutting out the seven deadly sins, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, artificial sweetener. Go with more fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. And absolutely positively, the two foods you have to give up are wheat and dairy products. Now, I'm going to have to go to break, and we got a lot more to cover. But uh, follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. We send out lots of good information. Go to my website. Send me your email address, and I'll put you on our newsletter. It's free. It comes out uh, maybe once a week or so we send something out. But I'm not going to bombard you. I'm not going to fill up your email box. Don't worry. And we're going to give you lots of good information that you can use every single day. And also on the website, we archive hundreds of hours of radio shows. And so you can listen to radio shows anytime you want, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Kids call it a podcast. That's my podcast. Uh, We videotape my live lectures. And check my website. And if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram or send me your email address, I'll let you know when I'm doing lectures, maybe in your area. Because I'd love to have you come out to the live lectures because they're a lot of fun. And the live lectures, I can show you things I can't show you on the radio. Folks, I'm going to have to go to break. The website, if you want to order supplements, send me questions, drjoesposito.com. Just Google Dr. Joe. We're going to be right back. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. Glad you could spend a little time with me today. And as always, I want to give you so much information that your brain explodes. I want to give you so much information that you can walk away with because I want to naturally get you well and keep you well. I want to give you the tools that you need to take care of yourself because it's a little scary world out there. It's a big, scary world out there. 
And if you don't start learning now and every day, go to my website, listen to radio shows, learn something new every day about your health, the health care issue in the United States and the world is not good, and I promise you, you're going to regret that decision. And like so many people have come to me over the years, every day I hear it multiple times a day, Dr. Joe, why didn't I do this sooner? Why didn't I listen to you sooner? I've had neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain. I got chiropractic care. It resolved my problem. I've had digestive problems. You, you, your staff pulled my stomach away from the diaphragm and it fixed my digestive problems. I have been tired all the time. I started taking super greens and essential source, the products you talk about all the time, and I felt great. Why didn't I do this sooner? And the answer I give all of them is I don't know. I don't know why. I have no idea. So we're talking today about allergies and a couple of things you might want to consider uh, if it is a time, even if you're eating right and you get your nervous system working properly, getting your digestive system working properly, and there's something in the air, pollen or dust, and it gets up your nose, you can use something called a neti pot. If you don't know what that is, it's really kind of cool. Uh, N-E-T-I. And it's kind of weird. It, it looks like a, I don't know, a rhinoceros horn or something. And you fill it with uh, salt and water, and the directions are right there. And you put it up one nostril, and it flows up your nostril and then out the other nostril. It's really a weird feeling when water starts flowing in and out. But neti pots and the saline rinse are becoming a standard treatment for a lot of patients. And, and years ago, it was those weird people like me that talked about the neti pot. And now doctors, all doc doctors are recommending it. It's really become commonplace. Um, allergists, ear, ear, nose, and throat doctors, medical doctors, chiropractors, they're finding that it really works very well. So if you don't have a neti pot, you can get one and try it. It works well. But again, all it does is flush out the sinuses. If your immune system is still weak because you're exposing it to toxic chemicals, it might help a little bit, but it's really not going to get to the problem. Massages work as well. Massages can fl flush out what's called your lymphatic system. Now, if you don't know what your lymphatic system is, let me tell you. You have these glands in your body called lymph glands, and they're in your throat. They're concentrated, your throat, your armpits, your groin, and they, they're filters. They filter out toxins in your body and then flush it out of your system. And so if the lymphatic system gets clogged up because you've had so many pathogens built up in there, a massage can mechanically squeeze, if you will, the lymphatic glands and kind of flush it out of the system. If you ever have swollen glands when you're sick, those are your lymph glands swollen because they're filtering out viruses, germs, bacteria, and they just get filled up. And that's what the swollen glands are. This is why in many cases, not all, but many, I recommend you always get a second, third, fourth, and fifth opinion if somebody's going to say they want to take out your tonsils. Because your tonsils are one of your, one of your immune glands. And if they're swollen, taking them out doesn't treat the cause, it treats the symptom in most cases. So now you've actually removed one of your filters, one of your lymphatic glands or one of your immune glands, and now your immune system is weaker. Now, when I was a kid, I had my tonsils taken out because it's just a cool thing to do. And now a lot of doctors are pulling back on that and saying, wait a minute, why are we removing an organ when you have to find out why the organ is swollen to begin with? Removing the organ just means the problem goes somewhere else. Not a good idea. So really dig deep if you're considering having your, immune, uh, your tonsils taken out. Let's go back to the callers. If you have a question, 844-44-DR-JOE. Gail, how can we make your day better? Hey, Dr. Joe. Um, I'm postmenopausal. Uh -huh. um, I am a truck driver. Uh -huh. um, I am overweight. I've tried, like, I don't know how many different things. I have a friend of mine who's a personal trainer. Right. She wanted me to do the bodybuilder um, diet. But, okay. I mean, you know, like protein, vegetables, that's it. Okay. So, um... That I did lose like 130 pounds three years ago. Okay. But it was mainly eating chicken and salad. And it was meat and salad pretty much. That was all I sure. ate. I understand. Um, I read some research that your hormones have a lot to do with the weight loss and being um, in menopause. Right. Okay. So, so what's your question? I needed to know... Um, First of all, what do I do? Um, what do, what can I use or what kind of diet can I go by? Okay. All right. Let's, um, let's start to there. lose the weight. Okay. Let's start there. Okay. Uh, right. You are postmenopausal. I totally get that. The hormones yes. do change. Totally get that. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of things that you, people expose themselves to that alter their hormones and make things like menopause or just being alive worse. And those are right. called endocrine disruptors. Now, endocrine disruptors mm -hmm. you'll find in plastics. 
canned foods, if you got bottled water, the, the bottle is melting and releasing something called bisphenol A into the water. Uh, almost all canned foods have bisphenol A lining. Perfumes, hairsprays, they have phthalates. These are all endocrine disruptors. So you really need to consider, Gail, what chemicals am I putting in my body that I can avoid? Because most chemicals are going to be endocrine disruptors. If you have an air freshener in your truck, that's an endocrine disruptor. It's really messing hard with your hormones. As far as losing weight goes, what happens is as we get older, our metabolism slows down and our digestive system slows down. If you look right. at a baby, every time they eat, they go to the bathroom. Food in should be food mm -hmm. out. So something I recommend, folks, especially when you're trying to kick off the program, is Dr. Joe's Intestinal Cleanser. It's on my website. And it's pills that you can take to actually activate your colon to get the bowels moving two to three times a day. That's normal, by the way, two to three times a day. And most people have about 10 to 15 pounds of undigested, rotten, putrefied food in their colon. And when we start cleaning out the colon, they start to lose weight, they feel better, the digestive system improves, and then they start to get the metabolism back to normal. And the last thing you need to do is absolutely positively no processed carbohydrate. That's breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas. You got to cut those out. S sugar, of course, right. candy, sodas. You got to cut those out. You just don't have the metabolism to do it ever again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's and where I, I would start. I am taking thyroid medicine as well. So okay. So my thyroid is like, it was almost dead. Right. <laughs> When I found out what was going on. Yeah, the thyroid, of course, maintains the metabolism. So you, it's more important for you to make sure you're taking care of yourself. And Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source not only is a great source of nutrition, they also have sea vegetables in them. And sea vegetables are an excellent source of iodine to try to reboot your thyroid. Don't take too much, but the amount in Super Greens and Essential Source is perfect for you. Okay. Okay? Thanks, Gail. Appreciate right. it. Cool. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thank you. Love that when people listen like that. Um, all right, we're talking about allergies today. i got a couple more callers. I'm going to get to them, so hang on if you can. I'm going to have to go to break pretty soon. That's why I say that. Um, when it comes to allergens, uh, you've got to get the digestive system working. So by pulling the stomach down away from the, the diaphragm, that helps. Now, as we get older, our stomach acids drop. And so many times I'll have to get my patients on digestive enzymes because enzymes break down food, especially proteins in this case. Protease breaks down proteins. Uh, uh, lipase breaks down fat. Uh, amylase breaks down carbohydrates. And so we can get them on digestive enzymes. And that's why I recommend you eat something raw at every meal because raw food is going to have enzymes in them, which is in it to help you break down your food more efficiently. Because as we get older, our enzyme levels drop. And then in real tough cases, I'll even put something, someone on like hydrochloric acid, or betaine hydrochloride it's called, because that'll help stimulate your digestive enzymes and the protein uh, breakdown, which occurs in the stomach. So that's why it's important you do that. And then breathing also is very important, too. So many people don't breathe properly. And so what I want you to do is consider the four, four, one, five. Four counts in, hold your breath for one, five counts out. Works really well. Folks, if you want to order Super Greens, Essential Source, Dr. Joe's Intestinal Cleanser, my books, if you have questions, you can send them to me all through the website, drjoesposito.com, which is Google Dr. Joe with the number one Dr. Joe in the world. Most of my supplements are also available on Amazon if you have an Amazon account. But send me questions through the website if you need to. Folks, got to go to a break. Don't go anywhere. Tell your friends about the show. We're going to be right back. Tell your friends about the show. We're going to be right back. Hey, folks. Thanks for being here. As always, I appreciate you taking time out of your day. We're talking about allergies today. And I've got a couple of callers. I want to grab them before you know, we don't run out of time. So where are we? Brad, how can we make your day better? Well, uh, I um, had my colon and rectum removed back in 1993. Wow. I've been suffering. I've been suffering ever since. I mean, the doctors pretty much messed me up. Yeah. Um, I and I can't, you know, I, I I was I did bodybuilding after it, and the doctor said that that wasn't probably the best thing for me to do, but it helped me to learn how my body works better. Sure. You know, uh, by getting like uh, supplementation to powder form as right. opposed to a caplet or anything. Right. Like. Exactly. But um, my my question is, what can I take? Because if I eat raw fruits and vegetables, it tears me up. Right. If I eat processed foods, it seems to be easier, but I don't sure. get any nutrition out of that. Right. And I, I'm I'm at the age now, 55, where I need more nutrition. Sure. So what what is it that I can do that's going to help me? Okay. Um, a couple of things. To better okay. health. Uh, supplements going to be huge for you. Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. I think I made them just for you. 
No fiber, <laughs> all the nutrients, very easy to digest. I've had many patients like you. I've had people on feeding tubes already. They put it in a feeding tube, and the response is just amazing. So that would be easy for you. Avocados might be good for you. You can try it and see how you do with that. I Cooked vegetables yeah. would usually work for you as well because they don't, yeah. they're not as, as, as irritating to someone like you. But the Super Green's the essential source. I would do them if I were you at least twice a day, and uh, I think you'll right. be amazed in a couple of days, the, the response. Okay, well, I'll, I'll order some on the website. I'll also send you a message on the website, too. So okay. I can email you on your website, correct? Absolutely, yeah. Any questions anybody has, not just you, Brad, anybody, you can send me questions through the website, drjoesposito.com. Okay, thanks. Great, Brad. I appreciate your help. Thanks so much. My pleasure. All right. Julie, how can we make your day better? Oh, well, you always do when I hear your voice. Oh, but, um, Julie. Um, oh, you're <laughs> killing me. I'm, I'm, I'm flattered. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know a dear friend of yours, Dr. P- um, Pizza. Pizza. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, his daughter is in my town. But anyway, jump into it. I'm a five-year cancer survivor. Right. And I had no problems mainly with thyroid until after um, I finished treatment. Sure. And so for the past five years, I continue to have thyroid problems. And I've seen two or three endocrinologists and dismissed them because they all want me to take Synthroid and I can't tolerate uh-huh. it. Right. So long story short, um, I'm doing 30 billion probiotics for stomach. Good. I do CalMag with 1,000 D3 in it because my te- blood test shows that I am low in vitamin D3. Sure. But when I am trying to take anything else, like I used to be on 2,000 a day of amino acids, L-tyrosine, and L-glutamine for 30 years. Sure. Okay. And anything I take now, um, it, it's just like I'm not doing well. It's not affecting me like it used to be. I have my very low fatigue. Sure. Okay. So, I've done so what's check your qu- through for allergies, and so Beautiful. my question is, yes, what question. would I need to do to start over to build my immune system? Because my blood work always shows that my white and reds are low. Sure, that's a real common question after chemo, and I to- I totally get that. So a couple of things again. Super greens an essential source is the starting point for just about everyone. Uh, that should yeah, help I've got tremendous. That down. Right. Now you can try Echinacea. We're going to have a product back on. We had it last year. We're going to put it back on the website this year. It's going to be Dr. Joe's Immune Booster. Uh, I think mm-hmm. it's going to be called Seasonal Booster. Actually, we can change the name. Um, but it's Echinacea, Powdiarco, and olive leaf extract. So a couple of things you can do right now until we get it is get some Echinacea. Make sure it's a good, powerful Echinacea. If it's a liquid, which is going to be your best bet, it should tingle when you put it in your mouth. If it doesn't tingle, right. it's a cheap one. So don't 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 waste your money on cheap supplements. Uh, so Echinacea is great for that. Dr. How, Marcola's, do you uh, recommend his? He's got great products, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Pau Diarco is great. Olive leaf extract is wonderful. Um, staying away from the things that are stressing your immune system. Because if the immune system is weak, you, you kind of think of it as an army. You only have so many warriors out there. And right. if you're, you know, putting things like wheat and dairy into your body, sugars, cakes, donuts. No, you... I don't do any of that. I Perfect. I do pita wheat bread, and I'm on all. I would milk, stay off but... that. Stay off the pita wheat bread. We want you off all the wheat and all the dairy. Stop. All wheat. yes, because right I now we got to do... build your immune system. Right. Okay, so, I don't so... take in any other dairy. Okay, so no wheat, no dairy. That's going to be the key. Um, what about peanut butter? I'm addicted to it. If you're going to do peanut butter, it's got to be organic. Okay, and it's got to be Valencia. Because the Valencia doesn't have the mycotoxins. Now you can do almond butter, cashew butter. Those are much better choices. But peanuts can cause real big reactions in the body. So okay. try the almond. The cashew is going to blow you away. Once you do cashew butter, you're not going to know. I've had works. that. Okay. I yeah. just couldn't afford it on a regular basis. Yeah. I do the New Balance with Omega-3. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. I'd rather, if you're going to do peanut butter, it's got to be organic. There's okay. no other yeah, choice. I used to and, buy it from right, Trader right. Joe's all the time. Exactly. If you can do organic... Um, if you can do organic Valencia, that's going to be your best bet. And okay. um, then apple cider vinegar is going to be very good for you, too, because it can help your immune system. So two tablespoons of raw organic apple cider vinegar every day. Um, you can drink it with water. You can put it in a salad. Just get that into your system. That should help so as well. a day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I consume gobs of water. So, okay. I that's mean, important. I'm drinking my water. Okay, right. Dr. Joe, thank you so Thanks, much. Julie. I, I appreciate I'm going to order this up, and I look forward to your human. The immune booster you're going to be putting out? That'll be out. Check in a couple of weeks. It should be on the website. Yeah. Okay. Okay? Thanks Thanks. so much. Yeah.
And uh, folks, if you want to order the Super Greens, the Essential Source, my books, Eating Right for the Health of It, Prescription for Extreme Health, uh, the Colon Cleanser, the website's an amazing place. If you haven't been there, go to my website, drjoesposito.com. Hundreds of hours of radio shows archived there. We videotape my live lectures. And listen, if you if you follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, send me your email address. I'll put you on my newsletter list. It's 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 all free. I post when I'm giving live lectures, and I'd love to have you come out to the live lectures because they're so much fun. And I can show you things I can't show you on the radio because so much of healthcare is physical, not chemical. And if you want to watch the videos, they're on my website too. It's under media. You have Dr. Joe's YouTube channel. And watch the live lectures. And I tell you, people watch them. And it's so funny because people watch the lectures and they come in or they listen to the radio shows. And they'll come in the offices and they'll say, I feel like I know you. I've spent hours and hours with you. I spend every day with you, it seems like. And I said, good. And they said, now I've, I've gotten all the nutrition stuff down. Now I need your help with a chiropractic problem or a digestive problem. Or they want me to do a nutritional workup with them. And we do that, by the way. We can do that over the phone, too, by the way. You don't have to come into the office for a nutritional workup. But I prefer you do if you can. But we want to get you well. If we get the nervous system working, the digestive system working, and a good diet, you'll be amazed what happens. Promise. And if it didn't work, so what? It didn't work. But if it does and it does, you'll say, why didn't I do this sooner? Folks, I, I, music means I'm, I'm done. If you missed the show, you missed a great show, it's going to be on the website uh, probably tomorrow or the next day, drjoesposito.com. Uh, if you have questions, send them to me there. But I do recommend at least get the Super Greens, the essential source, because I want you to start taking control of your own health because what is it? Naturally, I want to get you well and keep you well. Folks, thanks for listening. Thanks for telling your friends about the show. Catch you next time.